Welcome. So there's a couple different ways um, I like to go ahead and solve compound inequalities. And one of the, I think the easier ways I, I think to go ahead and do this, um, or at least to kind of understand compound inequalities, is to simply just cover up one side of inequality and solve, and then cover up the other side of the inequality and solve. So therefore, basically, by doing that, what I'm simply doing is solving two inequalities that look like this. Okay, just when I cover up one, all I'm doing is writing down what's remaining. So again, cover up one inequality sign in the solution, and I have this. Cover up the other side, and I have this. Now, I'm just going to simply solve both inequalities separately, and then go ahead and graph them on the same solution. So to solve here, I need to solve for x. I'm going to add 2, add 2, and I have 5 is less than 5x, divide by 5, divide by 5. And I have 1 is less than x, right? 1 is less than x, or you could say x is greater than 1. Notice how like the alligator teeth are always eating up at the variable, right? You can leave it either way. Yeah, I think it's just important for you to know how to kind of go back and forth. In this case, I need to add 2 to both sides. Then I have 5x is less than 9, divide by 5, divide by 5. x is less than 9 fifths. OK. so. 9 fifths, again, um, that's going to be, uh, let's see. I don't actually know what the decimal of that is. Maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, 9 divided by 5, 1.8. Yeah, I guess I could have done 1 tenth. OK. So x is less than uh, 1.8. And the reason why I'm using the decimal version is because when we create our number line, I kind of want to know a little bit better idea of where exactly this is at. So here I have 0. Um, we'll do 1. 2, 3, and negative 1. So now I have, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to take the values that I have found, my solutions. x is greater than 1, so I make a circle. And x is less than 1.8, which I'll kind of estimate as right there. All right? Now, what I simply need to do is I need to test both of these, right? It says x is greater than x is less than. Um, again, Plug them in, plug in the values where you put the circles to make sure they're right. 1 is greater than 1, or 1 is less than 1. Is 1 greater than 1, or is 1 less than 1? No, that's false. So guess what? That equation does not work, right? So therefore, we're going to leave it open. It's not a part of the solution, or that inequality doesn't work. Then I test 1.8. 1.8 is less than 1.8. Again, they're equal to each other, so that is false. So we leave them open. Now I just test points to the left, to the right, and in between. So to the left, let's do 0. Is 0 greater than 1? No, 0 is less than, so that's false. Is 3? Is 3 less than 1.8? No, that's false. So therefore, I can assume it has to be in the middle. Let's just try 1.5. Is 1.5 less than 1.8? That's true. Is 1.5 um, greater than 1? That's true. So therefore, all the points between these two solutions are going to make it true. And there you, can get, there you can see that is going to be my compound inequality. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve as well as graph a compound inequality. Thanks.